Hey everyone, Professor Hank here. So today we're going to talk about redefining functions in C++. So oftentimes you have a situation where you will have your derived class inherit a function from the base class that needs to be changed in some way. The logic needs to be updated. So it may have worked just fine in the base class, but in the derived class, we need to change the logic of that function. So what we're going to do is we're going to redefine that function. So all that simply means is that we're going to add a new function to our derived class that has the exact same name, exact same parameters, and all of that. It's just that the body of the function is going to be different, so that way we can implement the new logic that we need for that function. So let's see how we do this through an example. So let us say that I had a base class that I will call rectangle. And this base class is going to have a couple of private member variables, and they're going to be one for length and one for width. And we'll add to our public interface a constructor. And the constructor is going to simply assign its arguments to the length and the width. So we're initializing our rectangle object this way. And we'll include a couple of accessors. So we'll have a get length accessor, which will return the length. And we'll have a get width accessor that will return the width. Okay. And then we're going to include a get area function. And this is going to simply return the length times the width. And it's also going to be the function that we redefine in our derived class. So this is going to be, this will be redefined in the derived class. So our derived class is going to be a class that we're going to call class solid. So this is a 3D shape. So we're going to be adding to our rectangle the depth. So solid is a specialized form of rectangle, I guess you could say, because it's going to have a third dimension. And so that third dimension is going to be the depth. So we'll add to our public interface for our derived class a constructor. And that constructor will need to accept an argument for the length, an argument for the width, and an argument for the depth. And so we're going to need to invoke the base class constructor, which is a rectangle. We'll pass it the length argument and the width argument. And in the body of our constructor, we will assign to depth the depth argument. All right. So now is where the overriding is going to come in. So we are going to use the exact same signature, the same return type, the same name, and the same parameter list there. So we're going to have int get area, but this time we're going to return the length, but we're going to need to get that information from the accessors here because the length and the width is private. Derived classes don't have direct access to the private stuff in the base class. So we're going to go through the public interface in our derived class to get to that length and width. So we'll get the length and we'll multiply that times the width, and then we'll multiply that times the depth. So we need an updated version. We need to redefine the get area function. We need to use this version and not this version, because for our solid, the definition of area has changed. It is length times width times depth. So the get area function that we would have inherited from our base class, it's incomplete. It doesn't do the job for us here. So we needed to redefine it to have the correct logic. And the correct logic requires a change in multiplication. So this is the function that we redefined, the redefined version. So now when we try to calculate the area for a solid, we'll get the right value. So let's test this by instantiating an instance of the solid class and we'll pass to its constructor two for length one for width and three for depth so when we call its get area function we're going to be calling the new one the redefined version not the inherited one so we've replaced the base class get area function with our new version with our redefined version so we're going to see six and there you go. Two times one times three is six. Let's see what it would have looked like if we didn't do that. If we didn't do that, then we would have inherited the original version and it would simply have returned the length times the width because it doesn't have the updated logic for a solid object. So now when we run this, you're going to see that the area is two because two times one is two. 
So now you know how to redefine inherited functions in your derived classes in C++. Thanks for watching.